This man, it is late. First thing first, hold on. We got dogs all around here. They all want to show up because they, they know we on camera right now. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait till you guys come in a little bit right quick. Just giving the dog some fresh water. Got to get some clean water, man. Hope y'all didn't look at my toes or anything else. So I know it's late. Some places are already 10 o'clock. But I promised myself I was going to go live. Um, since I opened back up today, a lot of people didn't know it. Some people did. Either way, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Now, it is uh, Tamika Davis. What's going on? How you doing? Hot rocks, my brother. What's going on, Bubba? Chris, what's up? What's up? What's up with you guys? Oh, you guys stop. When you guys pour in, you guys pouring in. It was like zero, then five, down thirty-two. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, fellas, ladies, gentlemen. Ladettes, children, and everybody in all kinds, welcome to Butler Kennel Rock Wallace, man. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. People are going to be rolling in all throughout the day and everything else. Um, Smoke, what's up, big boy? Uh, trying to get you guys, I'm trying to get you guys right, get you guys right. I apologize. Uh, white boy KY, what's good? Tony, hope all is well. Everything is well. Salute to Butler Kennel. Salute back to you, my brother. Uh, what's up, what's up, what's up, Mississippi? love your content man i appreciate it i love that you love my content so i'm trying to get a stand right quick here we go let me get my stand man we're going to cover something really quick simple I'm not going to do all that you know extra stuff sorry hold on try to get out the case so i can put it in my ring light but i'm not going to cut my ring light on i don't think i'm gonna sit down outside with you guys man and we're gonna have a true discussion about what really happened all right Put this here. Ah oh, man. Ah. Oh, let me try to get my light. Tell me where all you guys are watching from, man. I got Mississippi in the building. I know Alabama's in the building. Uh, where are you guys watching? Where are you guys enjoying this quick live video? Uh, I feel like Beyonce and Jay Z when they drop an album and don't tell anybody. Uh, I just want to see my. Uh, my my most true fans man and true people my I don't, not fans I don't, I don't call y'all fans my true family you know what i mean that uh that's tuning in right now I know some of you guys is late night i know some of you guys are working and all that kind of stuff so i appreciate you guys man um <clears throat> i'm gonna start my page off and i'm gonna tell you right now there's something that i came up with to do every single time you guys man all right sorry i know i promise you guys it's not gonna be like this the whole entire time i am done that's it who the hell is calling me this time i'm sorry i already said that already y'all don't be calling me this time and i see i gotta curse somebody out um so all right we're getting right to it we're gonna get right to it i promise you after this in about 10 seconds i should be done There'll be no more moving of the phone. It's gonna be settled. Cause you guys, cause you know what I do? I don't think before I go live. I just go live if you guys have noticed. I don't have all the stuff pre-planned. And... There we go, look at that. You guys get to see me set up my stuff. And then we get to talk and have a real true conversation with all that edited stuff and all that kind of stuff. Um, Got my little chair. So we gonna sit outside where the dogs at because it's quiet at night. And you guys get to see the dogs, get to see me interact at nighttime with the dogs, All right? Get the true, you guys get to see the true, genuine Butler Kennels unedited version of nighttime with me and my dogs. Ah, how's that look? Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, one second. <clears throat> All right, I gotta give y'all a good song singing because I had to get my phone so I can read you guys' comments instead of 
keep touching the screen every five seconds. Give me one second. Um, Got to turn this uh, hot spot on. There we go. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. <sighs> I'm hot. And it's cool outside. So I'm going to get started. I'm just trying to log into this YouTube video. And uh, family, we're going to get started, man. We ain't going to do all this longevity talking and all that kind of stuff. We get right to it. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If I tell you guys the... Like, I'm just going to give you an example. I'm trying to... You see this? 207 unread messages. Text messages. Just today. Today. <laughs> 207. When I tell you we are busy, I am busy. I'm doing all this by myself. So you guys be patient. Give me a call. Quit texting me 100 paragraphs and expect me to answer it through a message. I am... I'm a texter. I can text right quick a response. But I'm not about to sit here and text you guys a whole paragraph back. Okay? I appreciate it. I will read your messages. But I'm going to tell you to give me a call because it's going to be too much for me to sponsor back and everything else. So, <clears throat> let's jump right into it. Bam, we are live. What happened? Introducing the Grand Teton collection All right. Of with smart home okay, technology. let me cut this volume down. So, let me tell you guys right now. If the commercials come on, watch the whole commercials. That's how I get paid. I'm not going to lie to you. That's how we get paid for the commercials. When you watch the entire commercial, they pay you more. So, uh, people always ask me, like, what do you do with your... Um, what do you do with some of your earnings from your YouTube and everything else? All of my earnings goes back into you guys, i.e. shirts are free now. Um, and that was in cost. These are not them cheap things that people buy. This is, dang, give me the right word, they call it. Um, where it's in the fabric. Don't, listen, I breed dogs. I don't do clothing, okay? I'm going to remember the word in a second. If you guys know, tell me what it is. All right, so let me go back up. I got to go to the chat. Let me get with you guys right quick. Um, <clears throat> Walter, what's going on? Eric, Eric, Wichita Falls, New Jersey. <laughs> um, see these ones back there? Y'all see them right there? I want you guys to see that live. Now watch this. Hey! Hey! That's how they play. See that right there? I'm talking about, now watch this. I'll show you guys. People ask, do your dogs fight? Do your dogs fight? I want you to see it live, right? That's all they're fighting, right? Like, oh, oh, fighting and everything else, right? Now watch this. <laughs> That's Rottweiler play. You got to see a Rottweiler play. Hey, why y'all so loud? Hey, this is, hold on, let me move away. fell off so you guys get to see some rough plate now there's a little rough plane but it's not like fighting or nothing else like that. Not. but some people take the camera off it right quick oh no i don't want you to see that i want you to see it i want you to see all the true that's what they were right there you can see them later anyway sublimation thank you chef alex these are sublimation shirts i know my boy i know y'all got me i appreciate y'all uh ATL, Bigfoot, Texas, Little Rock, Arkansas, Florida, Skyline. <laughs> now, listen, you guys. I'm not open 24 hours, but I am happy to let you guys know that uh, if you want a dog and you want to call, the only person I know that's open 24 hours is Hot Rods Kennels. All right? Um, they're the only ones that's open 24 hours. You can call at 2 o'clock. You can call at 4 o'clock. Um... Or anything else like that if you want to the number is three three four five six zero six seven five eight anytime two o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning he will answer your call with a happiness smile and just tell him butler kennel sent you you get a 50 percent off discount bam there you go all right so oh you need the number again just in case y'all don't have it uh that number is three three four five six zero six seven five eight anytime 24 hours a day give them a call they'll answer uh and make sure you tell them butler kennel sent you so you get a half off um so yeah there we go that way all right 
Oh man. <laughs> oh wow. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, you guys, yes, 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 yes. My business hours are from 9 a.m. 7 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I'm closed only one day. Eventually, I'm gonna close two days of the week because just like you guys, when you get up and work, you need your time off. I need my time off. All right. So let's jump right into it, man. You guys, um, Sky Life, what's going on with you? How you doing? Appreciate that. Um, so nice. How's the family? The family is doing well, man. We are doing really, really well. The dogs are doing well. I'm doing well. Everybody's doing well. Um, I took a little break. I took a week off. If you follow me on Facebook and everything else, I posted it on there. Um, I needed to take a break, man. I had to take a break. Uh, when you're doing this here every single day and you're doing it by yourself, you're coming out here doing this stuff in family, I had to prioritize my life the right way. You can't do 100%, 90% dogs and 10% family. You can't, and then you got other things you're trying to do. So what I did was I went on a vacation, finally, like five, six years now, my real true vacation. So I needed it. Took the family, went on out, went to uh, some place, I won't say, um, some place, and I took some time off and really, and during that time I really reevaluated really my whole program, what I do, how I operate, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I, made an, I made a true, personal um wake up call for myself and i decided to do things a lot differently with you guys now you're going to see a lot you're going to see some changes with the videos and how i did it if you guys noticed when i first started youtube i used to post a lot of puppy pictures and videos or pick videos of my puppies when they were born dogs being born and all that kind of stuff um and it did very well it actually did exceedingly well then you saw that i cut back from those things um, and I did more informational videos, informative videos. Um, those videos became about being more knowledge. And um, the reason why I did that was because every time I posted videos of puppies, everybody would flock, put deposits down, da 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 da. That wasn't my purpose. My purpose of why I got started was I wanted people to understand that just not buying a dog because it's a quick, quick puppy. That's not, I'm not in it to just try to sell you a dog. I'm in it to try to give you the right dog for you. And that's my purpose and I'm gonna stay honest to that. But I also realized that it affects the people on my list that's waiting for dogs. And with me not showing people the dogs, they're inquiring about, hey, are we having puppies yet? How many more puppies will we have on the list and everything else? So what I will be doing is getting back to posting more videos of puppies as they're born. If you wanna see that, I'll be having those, giving more Basically, I went more private with what was going on here, so I will be showing more of the videos for you guys to see. You guys that are following, you guys deserve to see what's happening. Now, I'm not going to just put my whole life on the line on YouTube, but of course, it will be more. It's going to be informative videos, which you guys say you guys love, but it's going to be a lot more interaction with the dogs. Now, I'm going to show you guys something what I did that was so amazing. I'm going to show you guys. Um, so I made things a lot easier for myself. If you notice, I used to always have my pressure washer and I had that water hose right there. So that water hose, hold on a second. Sorry. So my water hose, God dog it, would then, I had to drag the hose, then I put the hose back, then I got to wrap the hose back up and all that kind of stuff. All of my dogs have automatic water feeder, water supply that gets y'all gotta see my gift right quick look at that That's, isn't that beautiful but anyway um they already have water supplies already so what i did was i tapped into my water supply already and now i have an easy quick disconnect for my pressure washer i can pressure wash instead of dragging along holes i can just quick disconnect put it over there i'm gonna make a video for it don't worry if you're not following along it's hard to comprehend don't worry about it i don't explain things the best sometimes so don't feel like you're missing out so in other words, I just did a better way to keep my kennels clean, faster, quicker, and easier. For everybody who wants to start a kennel or thinking about having dogs or any kind of animals, pigs, I don't, cats, whatever, sanitization is your number one key. I'm telling you, you can't have a healthy animal if your dogs are in a dirty location. You guys see, listen, 
I'm not going to tell you I've never had dirty water bowls and all that kind of stuff. Listen, we keep it real on this channel. Anybody who breathes and has dogs like this here, you're going to get dirty water bowls. They're going to... But keep it clean. Take it out, dump it out, refresh it back and forth. If you guys are watching this video, when I first got it started, there was a dirty water bowl. I saw it, dump it out, flip the switch on, new water's back in it. Dogs has clean drinking water. Now, my dogs, they run around a lot. They're going to get dirty. They're going to jump into it. It's going to get cool. They go back inside the shop where the AC is at. And then they're going to come back here um, and do that kind of stuff as well. So it's going to be work. And I want anybody to understand. I apologize to anybody that I made this thing look like it's just the easiest, simplest job in the world. Where you just, um, you guys are only getting a quick snippet of the hour of my life. And my hour of my life is me sitting here in front of you guys right now. Where normally I would be working and doing this stuff inside the shop and all that kind of stuff here. Now, how many of you guys know out here right now with this many dogs, see how quiet it is? That's because we don't have dogs just barking all the time. That's caused by training. Um, I tell them to shut up too as well, but sometimes it's always going to be one that's going to bark afterwards. Now watch this. You ready for this? I'm going to speak to them. <laughs> we do a little talk. That's our little talk. I actually told them good night. They told me shut up. You know, saying we're not going to bed yet. And I said please, and they said whatever. And I just left it that way. That's the communication we just had just now. They just told me shut up. So there you guys have it. Uh, um, but this is work, man. And anybody you breeders you have, um, I'm going to go over some things that happened today alone, just today, because my day is first back today. And my God, you guys, I showed you earlier, I already have over 200 and something messages just today. <sighs> Unread messages so far. Um, I, I'm, I get to every single body. Everybody knows I go to everybody, I get to them. So let's start off with this here. The price of a dog and why the dog costs so much. Why does breeders charge what they charge for a dog? <clears throat> Wish I could show you guys my water bill I got today. My water bill alone is $300. <clears throat> just for this month. That's more than some people light bill, water bill, and all that stuff combined. <laughs> the light bill, I won't even get started with you guys. I promise you. I think my light bill was like a thousand dollars or something like that, and that's with the cheapest rates. But of course, I got this shop. There's other shop, AC blowing, house, AC in the house, AC in the shop, AC in the dog kennels, AC in the, my office, AC in the whelping state, whelping um, off whelping shop. What did I call it? The whelping, the whelping station. So. There's a lot of AC units. I'm going to tell you. So people ask me, like, why do you have it? These are the window units. And plus, like, one, two, one, two, three, and then four, then five. I got six window units. God, Lee, come on. So I have six window units, and I have, um, and I have a total of, I got one, um, God dang, I can't speak for nothing right now. One mini split that draws less energy so i'm gonna have more of those um eventually as well too so if you guys have questions you can write your questions below and i'll answer your questions if it's appropriate okay don't ask me if i got german rottweilers don't ask me what the price of my dogs are don't ask me how many dogs i have and uh just be respectful okay so um also uh yeah so why does dogs, why do breeders charge what they charge? I don't know about any other breeder, but I'm going to tell you about me at Butler Kennel Rottweilers. I had a call today, and I'll be honest with it. Um, you know, I'm coming back from vacation, so I'm feeling good. So you might got a discount today if you call me right. So, you know, you, you got the, you get the call, and the guy answers and says, how he calls me, and I said, you know, Butler Kennel Rottweilers. Now, you guys, please listen carefully. If you're going to call me and I answer the phone, Butler Kennel Rottweilers, how can I help you? Don't ask me, is this Butler Kennel Rottweilers? That just doesn't make sense. But anyway, um, he asked me, is this Butler Kennel Rottweilers? I'm like, okay, is this Butler Kennel Rottweilers? You know. And then he says, um, calling a bunch of dogs. I want to see what the price of your dogs are and everything else. And I got some questions about it. Happy. You got questions, I got answers. Right? So the first thing he says is, how much are your dogs? I give him a price give him three different prices actually and if you call me you'll understand why so 
three different prices. He says, oh, why that much for the dog? I don't know why they worth that. I just don't see what they worth that much. Just politely say to the person, you know, I didn't call you, you called me. <laughs> the problem with a lot of people is a lot of people want your dogs or your product at their prices. And that's not how it works. Um, and you know, I get it. If your if your pocket if your pocketbook or your wallet isn't big enough to handle certain things, that's totally fine. I'm not knocking anybody. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna crap on somebody. Oh, you can't afford it. Da da da. No, that's fine. But because if you can't afford it, hey, shut up. See that? Yeah. No message. So if you can't afford a dog, that's not a problem. But let's be respectful to one another. I don't go to Walmart and says, man, or I don't go to Ferrari dealership and I want that Ferrari, but the Ferrari said, hey man, it's 400 something thousand dollars. I don't have $400,000 right now for, for a Ferrari to get to a car. Um, so I'm not gonna be like, oh man, that car ain't worth it. I gladly, okay, man, I appreciate it and keep it moving, you know? But people want to voice their opinion on why I don't think the dogs are worth this or whatever. And then most people that tell me that, or they can't afford the dog, which is totally fine. If you can't afford a dog, at one point in my life, I couldn't even afford a five hundred dollar dog. Don't, don't, don't let this fool you. And I'm not gonna. I've never tried to portray something that I'm not, or try to portray something fake. I didn't have registered dogs all my life. As a, well, most of my life I did, but as a child, I never had a, a registered dog. But I love my dogs. Um, I weren't. I wasn't able to afford what I have now. I started off small with one kennel, which I showed you guys my five by 10 kennel. Then I went to a 10 by 10, then a 10 by 20, a 20 by 30, 40, 50, and keep it moving on. Um, I just say this to say this, like I say that to say this, um, breeders and people who work and have us, I'm just breeders. I'm gonna stick with breeders because this is what I do. Reputable breeders like myself put a lot of work, time and energy into this, what you see here today. Is what you get a puppy is not just what you get a puppy. You're getting the work that it built to get the mom to where it's at, the dad to where it's at, the breeding, the whelping, the the the, the money that it took to feed the mama and the daddy and the grandparents or whatever it took to get them to get to where you have now. It's a lot of work and time. So make sure you keep in mind of the same thing when you're inquiring about a dog. And not just any dog. Second thing person called me and says, hey. Man, I looked all over the place, man. You got the best looking rock wallets, man. You the best of the best. You the GOAT. Chores, man. I appreciate it. I looked around at everybody. Then he starts to tell me about another kennel. I said, hey, stop. I don't, listen, if you guys gonna call me, don't call me about another kennel. I don't care. I don't wanna know about it. Your, your experiences with somebody else. I'm not gonna trash talk any other kennel, period. I don't care. Even if I don't like that kennel, um, you know, I wish nothing but success for every single person out here. I'm focusing my lane and my lane only. If you're not calling me about my dogs individually or whatever, you don't need to call me to compare my dogs to somebody else's dogs. I don't know where they're at. I don't care to know where they're at and what they're doing on the other side. I'm focused on Butler Kennel. So um, that's a word of advice. Don't call me about somebody else's. I'm focused on mine. Um, especially negative. You said something positive about somebody else's kennels. Hey man, they got some beautiful dogs too. I can take that, man. I don't. I'm not jealous of nobody else. I promote and I love to see people succeed. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why we're successful to where we are today. I love success, man. It's a, that mountain peak is so big to hold so many people on that it doesn't have to be one person at the top. Um, it's never lonely at the top if you bring everybody on with you. Hey, quiet. I'm talking, God dog it. Say it again. Bark again. All right, I'm just playing. Seriously, I'm just playing. Real talk. See? <laughs> anyway, let me stop playing with these people, man. All right. Um. Oh my God, you guys have been asking some questions. Kathy Davis, what's going on? Kathy got a beautiful dog for me too, as well. If my phone rings in the middle of the night, I bought a puppy. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, caught me off guard on that one, boy. He <laughs> caught me off guard on that one. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm going to get to some other stuff for you, right? Quick, I'm going to answer some questions. What we got? Mad respect to you and your dog. Susan Hemi, Hemi, 
I hope I said it right. You guys, if I say your name wrong, I apologize. I am not the best. And I have a southern slang with the words I say. Like, I can't say ST words right. Like, scraw, screep, whatever. I'm from the island. So, in South Carolina, I ain't from the good islands. The great, well, my island is great because I'm from it. So, whatever. I'm from Wabamalaw Island. So, while saying that, you guys, it's not a scam. 843 number is my number. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, but I live in Texas. I mean, it's on every introduction video that I have. So, but maybe you haven't seen it yet or whatever the case is. But that is my, um, that is my, uh, that's my, that's my uh, hometown, my number. So I live in Texas, but it's a South Carolina number. And there you guys have it. All right. So that is my true number. But um, <clears throat> again, if you're calling me, my hours close at 9, I mean at 7 p.m. Texas time. I really don't care where you live at. My time closes at that time. So if you call me at that time or after that time, I'm going to block the number. I don't care what. Um, this isn't about friendship. It's about business and being respectful to everybody. I'm not calling somebody's shop about clothes at 2 o'clock in the morning because I'm up. You know what I mean? Have some respect. And I mean, we are grown adults. And quit putting y'all kids on the phone and calling me to make it sound cute. I don't talk to kids under 18. Just I don't for a lot of reasons. Um, <clears throat> but do -do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. let's see. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right, you guys, let's get these likes up. We got all these people in the station. Everybody just give it a thumbs up, man. If you're enjoying the show so far informative and good information hit that thumbs up button man don't just watch the video and not hit the thumbs up because i got a special surprise for you guys in a minute you know i gotta have a special surprise you know we just ain't gonna sit here and just be on the video talking and say bye i have never done that a day in my life so we're about to really really once we get 100 likes then we're gonna go do something special with you guys last time we did a we did four wheeler riding at nighttime <laughs> in the middle of the night got in the side by side might get on the motorcycle. Who knows what? But hey, let's let's hit it all up, and we're gonna do some something special uh, for you guys. So if you're watching the video, give it a thumbs up, man. Doesn't cost you anything. That's my support. That's the way you show support to me is just by pushing a button. Maybe a half an ounce of pressure it takes for you to support me. That's all that acts. Um, uh, Eric, I already know you did, man. You always do. Uh, Roosevelt Glenn said. Come to bog down Brooklyn, Bronx, New York, Glen. <laughs> hey. Oh, the boogie down Bronx. I could do that, man. Hey, I got family up in uh I got family up in New York. They're in Manhattan though. Um I, I really do want to visit New York and really get to explore New York. Really, really get to explore. I haven't done it so yet. Uh Eric Sim, North Charleston, hometown. Let's get it going. Um <clears throat> <laughs> Skip from Florida. What's going on, Bubba? I appreciate you, my brother. So if you guys haven't done so yet, let's hit that smash that like button. Let's get it on going. That's where you show your support. Support your family, man. I'm at I close at 7 o'clock and it's 916 right now. And I'm I'm out here just for you guys. Because I love you guys very, very, very much. Um Hey bro, I got a lot of people that try to get me to tell them what I pay for Kato and all I do is refer them back to you. Mention that. <laughs> Koi, <laughs> my brother Koi. This is like my brother. I didn't say my friend. Koi and I started. Koi wanted a dog, and when I tell you, man, I'm gonna speak on him for a second. I'm, I got a video coming out for him. It's gonna be a short video because Koi didn't want to come out and do an actual interview, um, but he did send me a nice, beautiful video um, that I'm gonna post for you guys as well. But you know, uh, everybody give it up to Koi because Koi is an Atlanta Falcons fan, also as well too. So. That's amazing right there as well. So Koi isn't a Falcons fan. But anyway, uh, Koi is a family member of mine now, man. That's like, he's the uncle to my kids now. You know what I mean? And that's, uh, I tell you, you guys, when I, when I say what I say about my dogs and what I do, I really mean it. I'm not just selling people dogs, man. I form relationships with people. When people come here, they feel like they have, like they're a part of the family. And I love when people tell me that, like, man, Bruh, the, the, this experience that I got with you 
is it feels more than just a than just a relationship or whatever they feel like they got here and they really really they really got to experience um they really got to experience what it should really be not all this extra stuff that people are doing over here and going there it's really about you get to know me i know you on a personal basis and you feel good about it. You, you can pick the phone up and call me somebody i don't know where in one of my videos somebody said they felt like i was telling them don't call me unless you got the right answers and no that's never what i'm saying to anybody so if, if you have that impression throw that away what i'm saying is have some questions in mind about what you really want um and i don't mind explaining anything to anybody at any given time as long as it's within the hours of my operation this is what I signed up for. I know what I signed up for. You guys ask questions and know, and you're going to ask me if I got a German Rottweiler. Ain't, no matter how many times I say it, you're still going to ask me, you got a German Rot, you got a German Rod and everything. I get it. And it's all part of the whole business aspect. Um, But I love it, man. I, I wouldn't trade this for the world. This is what I this is what I signed up for, man. Um, Man, people didn't believe in me, man, but God did, you know. <laughs> I, I, I got to that DJ Khaled. That was hard. Um. But truly, truly, man, um, this is what I wanted to pray for, man. Um, but I have to apologize right now. To I gotta apologize right now, and I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Um, man, I put some, I let some people down. Not it's not a lot of them, but it's a few of them out there. I let a, I let a few people down. Um, because they want to see me fail, and uh, I didn't give them that satisfaction. So. Right now, I apologize to everybody who wants to see me fail. Um, but it's saddening, saddening that there are people like that. And that's everywhere you go. But there are, for one person that want to see me fail, I got about 100,000 people that want to see me succeed, man. And I tell you, you guys support, you guys love means so much to me. The heck? Sorry. Um, you guys love and support me so much more to me, so much more to me than you would ever know. Seriously, like really, really, truly. Um, man, when I was down, I was gone, and I came back. Um, I went up the country. I came back, and um, man, I got so many calls and text messages. My phone, even my phone is off. I'll still get it, like a missed call or whatever, uh, most of the time. But you guys that have checked on a brother, man. Hey, I've seen you post in a while, man. What's going on with you? Just make sure you're good, my brother. Nothing but love and respect. Everything else. I hope everything's with the family. Man, we are good. We are blessed. We are happy. And I cannot tell you guys how good it is. So, if you are watching this video, why well, I still got 89 people in here and only 80 thumbs up, you know. But it's all good. I see how everybody doing. Um, but if you are watching this video, I'm telling everybody right now. For tomorrow and tomorrow only, I will be doing half off deposits tomorrow and tomorrow only. That's it. I just thought about that just now. That's it. Now, I'm not doing that because we can't sell dogs. We, everybody know We have a waiting list. That's, I love it. I'm not going to lie. I'm blessed. I feel so blessed. But I appreciate you guys so much, man. So I try to do things to give back and, um, in this pandemic time frame we have now. I know things are getting a little bit better, but for those out there that are really trying, um, I want everybody to experience a Butler Kennels effect. That's what I want, man, the Butler Kennels effect. Um, I, I I just get happy when I see people getting dogs for me, man, and sharing that and getting and going forth and all that kind of good stuff anyway. Um, let me get some of these questions right quick. Man, I'm busy looking at, golly, how do I get off this thing? Here we, here we go. Okay. Um, is the price different from male and female? No, it is not. My dogs are equal. I don't think a female should be worth more than a male. Male worth than a female. Why should somebody pay more for one dog, and that's another dog the person don't want? So if I'm looking for a female and you're looking for a male, why should I have to pay more because of what we're looking for? My dogs are loving. My males and my females were all love the same time and same way. Now, I'm going to put my camera down a little bit because I'm about to bring a little dog out of here for you guys to see. All right. So, let me see. Oh, shoot. What the fall? Um, mm -mm. Uh, I'm going to bring a dog out once we hit 100. So, 
but right now doo -doo 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 -doo. now Tony now I figured out why you got my number because I called you last Sunday morning at 6 15 a.m. Mike shut up no I didn't did I no I didn't lying behind <laughs> um my phone was off so anybody called me my phone was off I've been off for the last week so giving you heads up that way um I'm not following Mike up, man. Mike got Mike. How many dogs you got for me coming your way? I think Mike got what six dogs. I don't know. He got something. He got a lot of dogs coming his way. Um, so let's just recap right quick. Mike got about six dogs coming his way. Um, Coy likes the Falcons. Uh, brother of mine. Uh, our Falcons have been the same since. Yeah, yeah. No Falcons has, but we got something going on this year, you guys. If you're Falcons fans, so. Um, St. Petersburg, Florida. Kenneth Sawyer, what's going on, man? <laughs> oh, my goodness, goodness. Let's do something special. Take a walk to the mailbox and mail our t shirt. <laughs> I should have read that out loud. <laughs> hey, look here. Look, look, look here. I got y'all. So, for everybody, the last time I told everybody, I was sending off everybody some shirts and all that kind of stuff. Um, I haven't forgotten about you guys. My shirts haven't came in yet. It's been a lot going on. So before I took this vacation, this much needed vacation, um, man, my mind was all over, man. I had so much stuff going on. This here, that stuff, this stuff, paperwork, AKC registration, these dogs, this stuff, the kennels, the dogs, and just everything just overwhelmed so much, man, to where I had to sit back down, take a break, take a step back. And I got some stuff accomplished. I had some, I got, some things accomplished before I left and now it's paying dividend now that you know I'm back sailing smoothly and sometimes we all need a reset man nothing wrong with that everybody listen do not feel like you got to be he man don't listen to these music videos and telling you, you got to do it all by yourself take some mental time for yourself man it's important I don't listen I love you guys to death but I will never make you guys make pressure on me ever again in my life I think it wasn't that you guys putting pressure. It's the fact that I put so much pressure on myself to be great. I want everybody happy. I want everybody satisfied. I want everybody content and all this kind of stuff here that um, that I put pressure on myself to to be great. And I think that was the problem I did. So now um, to anybody out there that's starting a business, no matter what it is, uh, don't let other things mess your mental state up or whatever. Um, so for me... I am definitely um, getting to that point where I'm coasting and cooling, man. I'm coasting and cooling. All right. <clears throat> so, Watasha Covington, what's up? What's up? What's going on, girlie? Um, uh, hey, Tony, can I get a puppy on layaway plan? Yes, you can. You can get a layaway plan. We actually offer a layaway plan. Um, we offer Mike, <laughs> Mike, I'm gonna get you back for this. You know that, right? So you guys, so people always ask me like, how can I get a dog from you? Your dogs are always sold out. So how can I get a dog? My dogs are sold out before I even consider which dog I'm going to breed. Let me just put that in mind. So it's not that I'm trying to sell a dog out before they're actually born. My dogs are already sold out before I even say, Hey, I'm gonna breed this dog and this dog together. It's already gone so you have to get on the list before i even decide to breed the dogs so that way um so in that way being i have a waiting list now my waiting list depends on facts and things or whatever but this is, i do it legitimately you can't just pay and bump up and get in front of somebody else illegally the wrong way i don't do that i never will nobody can ever say in 17 years i have allowed somebody to jump somebody illegally without doing it the right way all that kind of stuff there so i'm proud of that i sleep good at night knowing that i'm true to everybody and all this kind of stuff here as well i can say it live because it's true um <clears throat> so it allows people to get a dog from me if when you put your deposit down now understand some people may not have x amount of dollars right on hand but you put your deposit down and then i have a payment plan that allows you to make small payments until you get your dogs um, you come and pick your dogs up or you pay the remaining balance on your dog when you pick it up. Some people just make payments on their dogs to where they've been like, I can't afford that. 
and they make payments and they're like, man, my dog, I want another dog. I want another dog. Because I understand. Trust me. The reason why I came up with that is because keep hearing something. Um, the reason why I came up with that is because when I was younger, I wanted this dog from this guy. I remember from the island where I live. And I want this dog, man, but I didn't have the money. And I was like, man, I promise you, I'll pay for the dog, man. I'll, you can keep the dog till I pay the dog off. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm a young kid, so I get it. He probably was like, man, this guy ain't gonna pay me. Young kid gonna run off. But intentionally, I really had full intentions of doing it. And I said, man, when I get a chance to have dogs, I'm gonna give everybody the opportunity to afford the best dog in the world. If you have the opportunity to get the best dog in the world and make a payment plan on that thing and take your time and make your payments, there's no rush, there's no penalties for not paying your dog at a certain time frame or whatever the case is. There is no rush. I don't I have never rushed someone to get a dog. I've never pressured someone to getting a dog. I've I think I've tried to tell people to wait to get a dog more than I told them to come and get a dog. If I'm lying, you guys can write in the comments below right now. If I've ever if you ever felt pressure into getting a dog, write so below right now. I don't I'm telling you, I know I don't do that. So, but getting a dog and doing this thing the right way. And if people have been, because you may be financially stable right now, but then two months later, you're not even right yet. So then you got a dog. What's going to happen? It gives you enough time to mentally build for this dog. It gives you enough time to financially build for this dog. And it gives you enough time to focus about how you're going to plan with this dog, give yourself some ideas. So when you get this dog, you're prepared. I'm going to tell you right now, I can tell when someone has been preparing for this dog. Not because they bought a bunch of stuff right quick. The questions they ask when they come, what their intellectual skills are about the dogs and all this kind of stuff, they're, what they're researching and all this kind of stuff. And even through all the research, you're still not going to be 100%. Hell, I'm not even 100% right now. I'm still learning as I go right now all the time as well. But we learn together, man. And you guys have taught me so many things. I'm on the phone. I tell you guys all the time. I'm not ashamed. I might consider to be the best of the best, but I still learn from all of you guys. And that's what makes us the best as a whole together, not just me. Um, Butler Kennels is my brand, but it's shared with all you guys and knowledge. Man, I'm up. I'm going to get a gun and shoot something up there. So, maybe I shouldn't have said that live. It's not a dog up there, all right? So don't be thinking, like, what did y'all say he's going to shoot a dog? He said he was going to shoot a dog. I heard him. You know what I mean? So, um... Uh, Kane said, "Still didn't get my jacket. What jacket? I was giving somebody a jacket. I don't remember that. That's probably why you ain't got a jacket, cause I don't remember telling somebody I was gonna give him a jacket. Hell, I don't have a jacket. I got a hoodie, but I don't have a jacket. So you mean a hoodie, not a jacket? Jacket, hoodie, jacket, hoodie. But no, I don't have jackets, so that's probably why. Twenty. Tony just seen a UFO. <laughs> hey, uh, look, it's, it sure sound like it. It's sure a strange sound I'm getting. Let people know to stop asking your prior customers about your pricing. They ask me a lot, and I refer them back to you. Um, you guys, I don't know why the best thing would do is to ask somebody else. Just come to the source. Another thing, why is people following all of my friends and don't follow me? Like, they'll follow everybody in my family. That ain't got nothing to do with dogs. This is for some breeders who are watching or we related to them. You guys stop following family, people in my family members, but won't follow me. Because you want to know about me and what's going on in my life, but don't want to follow people see it. Bro, it, it ain't even that serious. So if you're following my family members and you're a dog kennel and you don't even follow me, Instagram and Facebook, bro, listen, you look suspect, all right? Y'all guys got to stop this madness. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Um, by being on the plan, payment plan, dude, that determine your place on the waiting list. No. So once you put your deposit down with Butler Kennel Rottweilers, you get a spot. Bam. Right then and there. You get a deposit. Once you put your deposit down, you're going to know before you even put your deposit down what number you would be at that given time. So it's not a surprise. Like, hey, now you're thinking, like, oh, I didn't know. No. All questions can be answered before you put a deposit down. I'm not telling anybody you got any questions about anything. You can ask me anything you want before you put a deposit down. It's there. You got it. It's all good. Okay. Um, uh, but no, that doesn't determine the question. With... 
the payment plan doesn't determine your spot. What determines your spot is when you put your deposit down, that gets you in the spot, and then it's good to go from there. Um, respect and success, peace to you. Uh, Brother Tone, my t-shirt, bro. Tony, I forgot about you, bro. I know I owe you a t-shirt. I know, man. I love you, my brother. I love you. But you see me still wearing the same t-shirt I had on all the whole time? Y'all don't notice I ain't got no new t-shirts yet, either? Unless y'all want to wear the ones I got now, I'll be happy. No, I, I, that'd be, that's that's weird. I'm not even going to do that. Somebody might be like, yeah, give me the one off your back. No, no. Uh, I'll, give a t -shirt, I'll give it a shirt off my back, but it ain't going to be the one I had on my back before, but not this one. All right. But I'm, I'm very limited right now, you guys. So as soon as I get some more shirts, and I promise you, to everybody I promise shirts to and everything else, I want to see you guys rock it. And when you guys get my shirts, you better start taking pictures of my shirt. Where's my little camera at? You better stop taking pictures of my shirt and send it to me so I can show the world you represent Butler Kennels and stuff. Y'all got the shirts and wearing it all day and not showing me love and whatever. Hurt my feelings a little bit. Um, boom, 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 boom. Rock Nation Kennels says, best advice you would give an upcoming breeder? Do you? And that's real. Um... On some hot rock kennel says on some real stuff. Thanks for all your support, my brother. Uh, man, nothing but love and support. Uh, I was asked that question today. What is the biggest thing you've accomplished in your life? And my answer is simple, man. To be in a situation, to be able to put people around me in situations for them to be great. That's a good feeling. Um, that's a good accomplishment, man. Because you can accomplish things by yourself and be great. Like, I can look around and this is my dream. My dream. I nobody else. This is my dream right here. This is only, you can't see all of it. But, let me fight hell with it. Let me show you guys my dream, god dang it. This is my dream. And not just that. My dream is way back there in the dark. You can't even see it. That's land. That's something that I didn't see myself ever being able to own. I remember being a young kid and driving by and seeing people with big houses and lands and stuff. And I pray that God, not about having the biggest house and nothing, I don't care about none of that stuff, materialistic stuff, but I wanted something to be great that I could pass on to my kids and for the right reasons and not for flash or whatever. But most importantly, I love seeing other people great. Like when I used to pass by seeing people with great big houses and nice cars in the yard, I never was like, oh man, I don't care about that man, why he got it. Man, I was like, man, that's a blessing. Man, he's good. What is he doing good? Instead of hitting on the person that's doing good things, Go to that person and ask that person, man. Hot Rods tell you right now. We have conversations all the time, man. Uh, I don't know if I probably should say this or not, but I'm going to say it, though. Man, that boy is doing things, and he told us today. We talked today, and he was like, man, being around you, bro, and the things he did, he accomplished something. You know, I came back home, and he told me what he had done. Um, and then my other friend we talked to, he told me, too. And when this is the thing about it, my other friend, James from JLC, when he told me about what Miranda from Hot Rots did, his excitement and his voice was so happy that he was doing something great. That's what you call real friends, man, that want to see each other do good. Not, man, you see what he did, man, and why he got to try to follow you or whatever. You know, not that stuff. Be supportive of one another, man. And um, I love it, man. You know, uh, that boy doing big things, man. New house, new kennels, new yard, new everything new houses houses properties <laughs> you're doing great things so um don't take your foot off the gas man um you know for anybody that want to do things um uh, whether you want to breed whether you want to do here whether you do any just start and just start it like it, it ain't nothing like you don't gotta pay people thousands of dollars to be for a motivational speech to get you hyped up you should get your you should be the number one person to hype yourself. Nobody can hype me more about doing all of this more than me. Nobody. I was the one that hyped myself. When people tell me you can't do it, my own family members told me, breed dogs. What are you gonna do, dogs? Man, I got degrees in my office. I got all this stuff. Great job working overseas. All this stuff I had. And I stopped all of that because I wanted to focus on what I had and what my what my passion was. So to everybody out there that want to do anything in life, just go for it, man. I sat today talking to a guy at AutoZone, and I'm going to be honest with you. And I know uh, 
I think it's Rich. Robert. I think it's Robert. Sorry. If you're watching this video, I'm sorry, man. But we talked today, and he said, he had asked me a few times about, hey, man, hey, I want to do a, a thing with you, man. Can you tell me with the dog? I said, man, I do a consult. It's $100 for up to 30 minutes. I'll break it down for you. Right? He says, all right. You know, every time I would walk in there, I do a lot of car stuff. So I'm always in there. And we formed a relationship, which is cool. Um, and then he says, man, you know, he do it again. Hey, man, can you give me some advice about the dogs? I was like, I'll give you minimum stuff, but you got to remember, I, I work for this is what I got. And it costs, man. I'm not going to lie. So, um, cool cat. Don't get me wrong. In any kind of way. I could, but I know maybe he's financially. Well, I don't know what it is, but at the time. But we formed a relationship, and we grew a little longer, and we going in now on, hey, what's up, bro? What's going on? Da, 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 da. So today, he asked me again. And um, I broke it down to him a little bit about stocks. And I do stocks. I do I offer classes for stocks. And yes, I'm very successful at stocks. Yes, I am. Shout out to Jesse, Dallas, Texas. That's my boy. Got me started in stocks. And he has two of my dogs as well. Matter of fact, two of his dogs is here right now with me right now, by the way. that Well, one of my dogs. One is mine. One is his. Anyway, shout out to Jesse. Um, hey, who's snoring like that? Big old pregnant mama back there. Yes, I got a pregnant mama back there. You're going to see her soon, too. So, um, Robert hits me up and says, hey, man, I want to know the dogs, man. How you got started? Da, 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 whatever. I said, fine. The day I finally broke. Okay, man, fine. Here we go. I'm going to give it to you. We sat me for 40 minutes talking. Another lady was another lady was there, and she was asking questions like, oh, my God, you're knowledgeable. Oh, my God, let me get your card. Man, I didn't know. Da, 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 da. I said, okay, that's just a, a, a quick why because knowledge is power when you start to share things and, and you get that stuff i didn't i could have kept it to myself no nah, man i ain't telling you nothing but i want to see people do it but some people you got to work to get it and i'm not gonna lie everything ain't free you got to work for some things if you really want it um he says he told the lady yeah man i've been asking him for over a year now about this information and he finally gave it to me man and you know i've been working and i thought to myself after i got in the car i didn't think about it then i thought about it after i got in the car i said man that's crazy you wasted a whole year just to get some information when you could have had that information a year ago and you could have been progressing a year early. So now you're a year behind right now. But you got some of the information, not all of it. But, you know, I want to see people do good, man. So that's what I'm telling some people, like, open up, man, and just go for it. Like, I'm not no one, like, that one guy that just made it so you can't do it. People say the Rottweiler game is saturated with people, breeders and stuff. So what? When I started breeding, there were thousands of breeders out there. And hell, in Texas, there's a Rottweiler breed on every other dang corner. So what? But I said, I'm going to be different. Like, I'm going to be the best. And when I became the best, and still am the best, I want to be different and create something that was going to be everlasting. And that's creating a friendship, being who I am. You can't copy what I do. So, because I am who I am. I'm not faking who I am. I remember here are breeders, they have to wear a suit. And <clears throat> and that's why when I first came in this game, man, well, not when I first came in the game, but when I started really excelling in this game, breeders were mad at me. He don't do it by the book. What book? There is no book. I bought these dang on dogs and I'm gonna do it the way I wanna do it. And I'll do it as I see fit. Nobody's gonna tell me how to run my business. You got to do it by the AKC way and this and that. You got to show us the paper. I ain't showing you crap. 17 years in this game and I've never showed paperwork and I never will. I don't care. Because I don't sell, I don't sell dogs based off of uh, paperwork with dogs and pedigrees and all that kind of stuff. Yes, all of my dogs are AKC registered. Yes, all of my dogs are imported and all that's champion. I don't care about that. Like, I can, there's no other breeder that got more champions in their bloodlines right now than I do. I I'll pit money up on anybody right now. Combined all of my dogs, champions, and all these bloodlines right now, and I promise you I got more bloodline, more champion bloodlines than they got in their whole entire kennels. Hell, I'll pit money on that. But you've never seen me post about dog champions and whatever the case, because I want you to see my dog for what they are and not because of the paperwork that somebody's got to hide off somebody else's name. I stand on two feet of my own and represent my dogs and let you guys see the quality of these dogs, not the names of these dogs that somebody uses off of them. I don't need that, man. Um, now, of course, when people come and get their dogs and they see it, I show you everything because you're going to know where your dogs came from, where this dog is at, what the history of these dogs for your knowledge so you can move forward knowing what you have and going forth from there, period. You know what I mean? And um, 
that's that's what I do. So be you, man. And I'm never at one point in my life. I'm not gonna. I think one point for about a month, I almost wavered, man. I was like, man, they 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 getting on me, bro. But all that did was build me up to even be even stronger to be like, boy, please. <laughs> and I remember it wasn't even a month, maybe like a two week. I had a break for a second. I was like, man, maybe I should. Maybe I should. They getting on me. They getting on me, man. And Trace told me like, you better do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Do you. My people in the background. I remember even my random them boys been in the back. Hot rocks. Hey, bro, go ahead, man. JLC, bro. You know, whatever. Um, there were points when I wanted my friends around me to defend me and be on it. Like, some of my friends did. Like, they went deep, hard in it. And I appreciate it very much. But it taught me a lesson, man, that I'm not, my value isn't based off of somebody else's telling me what I'm worth. I know what I'm worth. Um, people telling me you could, where I grew up at, you know, seeing a $500 dog meant like you were crazy like bro that dog gotta be tight you know but and I remember my father um telling me about when I first got started in this game he was telling me about a friend he knew that was having these dogs that were top dogs and all this stuff and if I don't if I really was serious I had to go and talk to him I made it a promise I was never gonna call that guy I promise you I said I don't even call him for nothing and I my pride was in it too, but it was like, I didn't need that guy to be successful for what I wanted, the knowledge or whatever the case is, not the knowledge, but I had to go because he was the only person that he knew at the time. And I said, I want to be me. I don't want to follow him. I want to be me. I know nothing about the guy, but just because he had this famous dog, I was supposed to buy a dog. And that's the knowledge. That's the kind of mindset we had back then. And my dad was trying to get me to, you know, my dad had good intentions that he wanted to share that knowledge with me to get it. But I want to make my own path and I thank God every day that I did that I went my own way and that nothing nobody I'm just glad I did me and when that question was asked like man the advice you give do you um get with other people man stay away from all that negativity um other breeders smash bad talking somebody else breeder when a breeder got a bad talk another breeder man that lets you know right there jealousy automatic like if Johnny down the street got a dog that looks like a little chewini Bruh, I'm gonna go to if 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 Johnny comes to me and says, "Hey man, my dog better than yours." All right, bro. I don't gotta different brackets don't argue with each other, man. You know what I mean? But if you're on the same level, you want to see success. People in this game and any think about anything you do, people want to see other people succeed in life. Those are the people that go on to be further. The jealous ones, the envious ones. Man, they're always gonna be in the same boat. They're always gonna be down there looking up and, and and pointing fingers. A critic is somebody that got the most opinions but can't do what they do. Stephen A. Smith has the most opinions about LeBron James, Michael Jordan, and couldn't beat none one of them a single game if you give them 21 points and they go into 21. Make sense? So the thing about what I'm saying is don't listen to other people, man. The story I love more than anything else. I'm going to tell you guys a quick story right quick. It's really quick. There was a frog trying to jump a tree. So the frog was trying to climb a tree. This frog kept climbing, kept climbing, sliding down, climbing, sliding down. A few other frogs came around him and start yelling at him. You know what I mean? Selling him like, what are you doing? So a few hours went by, 10 more frogs showed up. So that was like 20 frogs. The frog's trying to climb this tree. The, clog, the frog kept trying to climb the tree and kept sliding down. Before you know it, by the middle of the day, it's already had about 50 something frogs yelling at this frog, telling him, man, what are you doing? Like, stop, just give up, bro. You can't, frogs aren't meant to climb a tree. So the frog just kept trying and trying. He kept, every time he would jump, he would get a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, um, but always slide down. Then eventually, Little frog news newscast came up there and recording him and everything else. This frog finally climbed the tree and got over. When he climbed over and got down, the whole crowd started cheering all of a sudden. And they asked him, like, what made you, what gave you the energy to climb that tree? The frog said, um, he said, the, the reporter said, how, what did you get the, the energy to climb that tree when everybody was telling you not to do it? Frog said, oh, I'm deaf. I thought they were cheering me on. So sometimes you got to mute up the whole world and focus on what you want. And if they saying negative things about you, you focus on that and use that as energy to go forth in what you want to do in life. All right. So that's my life lessons for the night.
I'm gonna get a dog right quick in a second, right quick. I'm gonna answer some questions you guys have. Um, sorry, my phone's been down for a second. Uh, live chat. Okay. Uh, Black Crow says need needed to hear this, my brother. It was meant for me to see this live motion, motivational family. Man, smoke, smoke, smokey smoke, man. I love you, brother. Always did, always will. Smoke got three. Smoke got two dogs for me. Smoke got another dog coming. Man, we got a lot of business to do with Smoke as well, too, you guys, man. Um, check them out. Check them out. Um, out the cage, Rockwallers. Go show some support and love to them boys on there and Facebook and all that kind of stuff as well, too. Um, uh, I'm just trying to answer somebody's question, man. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't know you guys were writing this much. Rock Nation, what's the longest someone did a payment plan? Um, as the time it took for them to get the dog, I guess, mostly. Um, just depends on what list you want. Some people pay their dogs right off. Some people wait, pay the dogs or whatever. But it just really depends on you. You give me a call, and we discuss that in detail. When it comes to finances and stuff, I really hate talking about finances online. But I get the gist of, of everything all together, um, understanding it. So people who really want to understand that, just give me a call. Explain it. Because... Um, you're gonna get a, you're only gonna get but so much knowledge on my lives. In person, you get more in-depth conversations and stuff of this here. Um, on some real stuff. Thanks for all your support, my brother. Love you too, man. Hot rots, brother. Told my t-shirt. <laughs> I watched a lot of your videos the other day. Thank you, Practical Tactical EDC. Um, what level of dogs should an upcoming breeder start with from your yard? shoot somebody should start with any dog my dog any any of my dogs is quality like you guys want to go take a look at the dogs it should be wake up <laughs> my little yorkie started yard parking all right um i'm gonna go over there in a second do you pick the pup for the client or do you get a number choice pick for the particular litter? So you get a number when your number is depending on what it is. You have We have different options. We have a first pick. We have a regular pick. We got specialty litters. We got all that kind of stuff. So when you call, we got different options. It's kind of hard for me to try to explain to everybody right now. But give me a call. We got different options. It's, it's not just that I don't pick your dog for you unless you want me to pick it for you. But I will give you advice on which dog is the dog that best suits what you're looking for. Now, granted, I will tell you this. I'm not saying a person's name. I'm not telling you who they are. That's confidential. I did have an instant where someone wanted a dog. And I told this person, this dog is not for you. It is not for you. Even though you paid your money, I'm not going to listen. I'm not motivated to disagree somebody wrong because you're giving me some money. I don't care. I told the person, listen, I know you paid me. I know you got your money, but this ain't the right dog for you. I'm not going to breach you wrong because this dog fits somebody else over there that might want a dog there. But I'm going to get you the right dog for you. If you trust me, trust and believe that I'm going to give you the right dog. There's a lot of breeders out there giving some money. I don't care. You want a dog that's going to, you tell a breeder, hey, I want a dog that's going to fly. They'll tell you, yeah, get this dog. dog. They don't care. They give you the dog, money, they're gone, that's it. I'm not that person. And I vow to never be that person. Um, So... I have something in me, man, that's always gonna stay strong, stay true to who I am um, as well. So the person got the dog, even though I told him forbid it, come to find out wasn't happy with the dog because that dog wasn't meant for that person. So I will give you the opportunity to choose the dog you want and you will have every opportunity to get the right dog for you, but I will try to my best to get you the right dog that suits you. If you want my advice, you don't have to take it, but I will give it to you. 99% of the time, people who trust me in getting a dog for you are, and I'm not gonna just, here, get a dog. I'm gonna explain to you about each one of the dogs. Someone asked me today, what's the purpose of these dogs having different collars on and everything else? It's identification, that's all it is, identification. A purple one might represent a girl. A pink one is gonna represent a girl, most likely. A red one is gonna mostly represent a boy. Unless I just don't have enough collars and colors or whatever, which I don't think I won't have that problem. But um, that's identification, so I know which dog is what. I keep track of this dog's movement, behavior, behavior patterns. So when you come and get a dog, I can tell you, hey, purple is more active. Blue is more aggressive. Red is going to be more laid back, sleepy, little sleeping dwarf he is. This one over here is going to be very energetic. Because if a person is 92 years old, how oh, he got 92, 
But an older gentleman or older person don't want a hyper dog that's going to be wanting to go up and down the whole hill because they're not running up and down the hill. They may want grandkids and everything. So they're looking more for a laid back dog. A true breeder is going to educate people about the dogs they have for them and breed the dogs directly for you. That's what comes in about the waiting list for me. Because when you're on the waiting list, I just don't breed any dog and say, oh, I got a dog up, you just take this dog. I look at the list. We talk about what you're looking for in a dog. And then I decide which two dogs I'm going to breed the best suit what your list of things you wanted when you put your deposit down and what you were looking for. And I say, hey, Timmy wants this dog. April looking for this kind of dog. This one's looking for these kind of dogs. Da, 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 da. These two dogs matches the bulk of what these people are looking for. And then I breed my dogs accordingly as such. Not just somebody who only got one or two dogs in the kennels and you can't breed it everybody that way. So that's the reason why you have to be patient and understanding what a breeder, a true breeder has to go through in getting you the right dog. And that's why consistency is such a great thing. Now, everybody isn't going to get everything right now. Granted, we can make mistakes and it's truly, truly, truly fine. But also people have to understand as well, too, if you're looking to get a dog and you want to breed, make sure you have enough time in here. Make sure you have enough time in here to actually time invested into your dog to train your dogs the right way, as you should, right? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so Mike said, <laughs> Mike, I hate you. Mike said, I paid for three dogs from Tony and he refused to give my money back, to give me back my money because I wanted dogs, not huge quality big beers. <laughs> I hate you, bro. You retarded. <laughs> Uh, Smoke Black Crow says, because of you, my brother, I learned how to trust the process. Real spit. Appreciate that. You answered my question. Uh, you breed dogs for different reasons. Example, yard protection, playful, etc. Um, the setup is amazing. Thank you very much. Um, I got to ask, have you got your own pig yet? There's no oinking going around here right now. I don't have a pig yet. Um, and I'm kind of glad I didn't get it just yet because you guys know this in Texas. You guys probably don't know unless you live here. But we was in like three-digit heat index for like three weeks. Like hot, man. When I was telling you guys the dog went inside the AC. Like them dogs couldn't even be out here. Like fan wasn't going to do it. Blowing hot air on you wasn't going to do it. But misters was just going to be hot mist on you. But it was hot, man. And a pig needs to be cooled. And all. The pig probably would have been inside the house anyway. But not in my house. My shop. I think you were in my house. Um, I appreciate you responding to the message today. No problem, Anthony. That's my job, man. Um, fam, I commend you for always showing that positive love and support on various Rock Wallet channels. Uh, needed to hear this. My brother was meant for me to see this live motivation of family. Uh, always, always. Tony, you got over a hundred on now. Let's see the dogs. Oh, my bad. Let's just go see the dogs, man. Let's let's go see these dogs, okay? All right. Ah. Make sure my pants is up and everything else. I hate people who sag pants and all that kind of stuff. All right. You ready? Why is my thing looking all fudgy? There we go. Still ugly, but hey, here we go. All right, got to clean the other side off. Clean this off. I'll turn this camera around. Here we go. Now, listen, you guys. Yes, there may be turds in the kennels. I don't know. My kennels are always cleaned out. But as times kennels are gonna have little stools in them, it's just totally normal, all right? But for the most part, they're clean, like this one. Empty, clean, everything else. Got one little turd right there, but that's normal. We're gonna get it all cleaned up before we leave though. Fresh water, all that kind of stuff. What's up, baby girl? Y'all making all this noise? Who was making this noise? Who was making the noise? Hey, cutie cuties. A little baby girl over here. A little cute little baby girls. Say what's up. We're gonna go through. So let me show you guys something, right? So I always get asked this question. I don't want a female because it's gonna be bleeding all over the place and all this kind of stuff. I wanna show you guys right quick. Uh let me see if I can zoom in. Oh yeah, I can zoom in. See that little blood spot right there? Dog it move, y'all. 
See a little blood spot right there? That's two dogs in heat cycle right there. So it gives you an idea about, you know, what a heat cycle looks like. It's not them big old thing or whatever. I don't know. All right. Um, I can't wait to get a butler dog. I can't wait to get you on there. Um, you can't rush this man. I'm rushing stuff and I'm learning to wait and do it the right way. There's so much judgments and everyone tries to be a be a bro. Do you hate haters? How do you deal with it? Well, I give haters no attention. That's how I deal with that. Tony just texted me and said, if you can name on the dog. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Mike, I promise you, if you can go right now and name every dog, and you better type fast. If you get, I'm going to give you an option to get only two dogs named wrong. If you can get, and no helping y'all. Mike, I will give you all of your dogs for free right now if you can name every single one of my dogs right now. And I'll give you, I'll give you the wrong of getting three wrong right now on the spot. See how good I feel, Mike? And Mike got what, six dogs going? Mike, that's if you know you're paying attention. You got right now. Let's get the typing. You got five seconds to write these two dogs' names down the first two dogs right here. Y'all, y'all want to help Mike? Don't help Mike. Because Lord knows, I don't want to give away another, another six thing dogs, I ain't gonna lie. Any other kennel flooring you recommend other than concrete? Uh, it depends on what your area is, honestly, your location, your climate, and all that kind of stuff. What's up, mama? You just gonna hang out in the you just gonna hang out there? You just you just hanging on in on the front porch? Okay. Uh man. Y'all see Mike got sure got quiet. I don't think Mike can do it. I'm giving Mike six free got dog on dogs. And Mike, it, ah, dog, how do I, oh, there we go. I told y'all, man, Mike, Mike don't want a dog, man. Chef Alex, what's going on, Bubba? Chef Alex got a dog and Chef Alex broke my side by side. I'm just joking. We did crash though. The wheel came off. We were flying. <laughs> <laughs> Mike said crickets. <laughs> I'm out here working on the boat as well, too, man. We'll get some dogs on the water, get some stuff going on. All right, you guys, everybody say boo, type boo to Mike right now. Boo, B O O O O, Mike. Everybody, please type boo to Mike. Mike just messed up for everybody, you see. <laughs> I tell you what, Mike, if you get the first six dogs you get the first six dogs right right here six dogs right here right and i'm gonna give you the opportunity to get two wrong so you just gotta name four of them any four of these two four six dogs right here matter of fact i'll even make it easier for you you get four dogs right out of these eight right here one two three four five six seven eight just give me four of their names right and you get free puppy and everybody gets 50 percent off right now giving it to you right now mike this is what i'm doing for you and everybody on everybody on this i'm feeling good i just came back from vacation come on mike i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you some time because i want you to do it come on let's get this next, let's get it right i'm giving you six eight dogs two four six i'm giving you eight dogs you just gotta get half of it right mike just half one two three four five six seven eight and i'm gonna give you a hint mike i'm giving you a hint all of these are girls except for one boy. Boom. So, yeah, you already got six dogs from me, so all your dogs will be free if you get it right. Ah, Jill, quit cheating, Jill. <laughs> it's half off, man. I'm going to count the 30 seconds in my head. It's half off, bro. And you got me on live right now. You know I can't lie. Half off. I'm going to go closer to you to help you out a little bit. I'm going to give you the dog's faces so you can see which dog they are. So there ain't be no lies. Female. I just lied. I'm sorry, Mike. I'm going to start over. It's two males and six females. I apologize. I'm going to start over. <laughs> Come on. Matter of fact, Mike, I'm going to push you. I'm trying to give you all these dog 
for how far? That's tank right there. Look at that. Bam. He's got to give me three more. Got to give me three more. 20 seconds. Dun, 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 dun. Anybody who got the dog will be half off. Mike dogs will be free. Anybody else, everybody else who put deposits down will be half off. For the rest of this, for the rest of tomorrow. For tomorrow. Half off for tomorrow only. Now nah, I ain't gonna do no half off all together. <laughs> half of all of you guys. Everybody. Everybody gets half off. If you call me tomorrow and Mike get this right, everybody gets a half off right now. Every, when you call me tomorrow, hey, if my dog prices was two hundred, now the price is a hundred dollars for you. Mike said, "Hulk." <laughs> All right, I'm gonna still give you ten seconds, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best, Mike. Man, you make hey look because you said it tonight. I told you guys I got a special surprise for you guys over hundred. You guys don't love me and if you were smart somebody could have went back in my videos because i went and did a walkthrough of all the dolls and said all the dolls name but time is up i gave out about like a minute and a half this now man everybody said boo mike mike boo because mike lost you guys on a half the price dog and they said hulk bro now nah, i'm gonna show you where these dogs are at so nobody think i'm lying nala somebody said nala tank so tank was one of the dogs hulk is over here Barack and Nala. Let's see. I'm gonna show you where these dogs are at. So, just so you don't think I'm trying to lie and put the names out there wrongly or whatever. That's Hulk over here. Which the, that's Hulk and Nala right here. And that big girl is pregnant. I never tell people that. I never do. But I'm telling you now, Mama is pregnant, and her puppy's already sold. So don't ask me about her puppies, please. Do not call me. Her puppies are so. You wanna come out, Mama? No. If I let her out, they're gonna stop barking like crazy because they don't let me know. And that's a girl and the boy doing the thing. That's a girl on top of a boy, just so you know. So, whatever. Um, that's Hulk and Nala. Somebody said Barack. Barack is over here, laying down right here. Barack, Barack! Barack, give me some kisses. Give me some loving, man. Y'all, I'm six feet, so... Hey! Oh, look, look, there's too much loving. Someone said, um... Barack, Nala, Hulk... So they all over there. So, boo! Dallas gonna produce some super looking puppies. Yes, 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 and yes. Um, they all gonna be doing producing some real good monstrous looking dogs. Um, I'm telling you guys one thing, man. This is a 10 month old dog. Koi said, "Wait, I'm about to talk with the dog right now." That's Goliath. Look at big Goliath. If that's not Hulk all the way, you guys, I don't know what to tell you. That's Boom, 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 boom. What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bubba? Give me some loving. Give me some loving. Show it to me. Show me some loving. Give it to me. I'm gonna sing for y'all. <clears throat> Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> yes, yes. See, even he said bravo, bravo. That's what that bark meant. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I don't care what nobody says. That's what it meant. Goliath is what I've been waiting on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're waiting on, but you gotta get on that list to get the dog. But that dog ain't going nowhere. I promise you that. Um, I've got offered some really high numbers, and I'm telling you, the twenties, thirties for that dog. That dog ain't going nowhere. Um, you guys, please listen honestly for real. I'm, I, I know I joke a lot, but I'm gonna be honest for a quick second. Be straightforward for a second. Um, these dogs are not just animals to me, man. I don't know if you guys get that vibe or not, but understand. These dogs hit. This is what I gotta deal with. Fresh behind. She's not even in heat, but that's what he's doing. Okay, enough of that. That's that's dog porn or whatever. Um. These dogs are not just a ticket, man. A meal ticket or something like that. If I don't sell another dog in here, and like I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. A lot of people who breed dogs are doing it for the quick money. Don't get me wrong. There was a time when breeding dogs was very helpful for me, and it still is. I'm not going to try to pretend and be like, oh, no, I don't need this. I don't need it, but I don't breed dogs for the money. Like, this isn't something, if I don't breed another dog right now, I'm fine. I promise you I'm fine. Anybody who knows me knows that it is what it is. Um, I talk about how to make money, and but you got to have a love for this first, man. This isn't about just trying to sell dogs. Like, if you get into this because I hate when people call me, 
yeah, man, I know Rottweiler's a new thing right now, so I want to get into it because it's breeding. Like, bro, don't call me with that foolishness. You only want to breed dogs because you think it's a financial gain. You're going to lose money before you gain it. And that's the first thing I'm going to be honest with you. So anybody thinking about breeding dogs, thinking you're going to just get two dogs and breed and make a lot of money off the rip, it's not true. And I apologize again if I made anybody believe that if you don't do it the right way. All right. So, um, boom, 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 boom. breeding is a lot of work. It truly is. So is Goliath beef? Is Goliath beast brother? No, he is not. Beast is gone, you guys. I don't have a beast anymore. I sold beast. Um, I sold beast. Let me give you guys. I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys the honest truth. Where beast is, and I'm only doing it because it's my live video. Beast has big boss kennels came back. The one everybody knows as the guy that want to compare his dog to my dog. They got Debo and all that kind of stuff. Big shout out to them guys. He just called me today and yesterday or something like that. I don't know. But I don't have any. I don't know if people think I have a beef with them or something else. But it's not a beef or anything else. It's just that Debo came from me, you guys. So you can't compare my dogs to my dogs. But it's a different generation, man. We're different ages. He just loved Debo so much that he wants to. He feels he has the best dog because this is the best dog he ever had. And it came from Butler Kennel Rock Wallace. Um, and then you got the other dog he has. But I love the guy, man, because he's doing it his way. People talk about him. He got a different way of selling dogs. You know, that's his way. I don't the like growing behind man, man. I'm not telling no man how to run his business or anything else. Um, but I'm proud for him and I'm happy for him. Um, but yes, he came back and he got beast. I'm posting that video out hopefully tomorrow. Um, the interview with him, he came out, man, and uh, let's just say uh, we put all at the rest. When when he came out and saw, when he saw the big boys all out here, you know, personally, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, uh, that's what we do, man. I mean, I, I don't I don't have any hate for anybody. I don't want to see anybody fail. There's no competition. Only thing I'm competing with is me to be better than I was yesterday. That's the only thing I'm competing with right now, man. Um, da, 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 da. I found the waiting list to be very helpful. It allowed me to prepare for Kato. I love Goliath, brother. I believe he's the best ever. Koi has Kato. Kato is Goliath's brother. You see that dog? That dog is big. I think his dog is bigger than mine. Um, but you know, Koi has his dog inside the AC. He built a ramp for his dog. His dog got a special cage. His dog's got. You know, his dog get to watch the Falcons game with him on the couch and stuff. So, you know, his dog a little bougie. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, I mean, I I don't sound jealous a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I'm a little jealous. You know, his dog do better than I do the way I live. Um, and, yes, they did get Debo in. No, 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 no. Mo3 is not my dog. No, Mo3 Mo is not my dog. Not my dog. He has three dogs that came from me. Actually, so he has Debo, he has Sirac, and now he has um, uh, Beast. That's it. That's it. Now he's got some dogs from Debo that he's bred and made a dog, but still came from my, my kennel. But not those dogs didn't come from my kennels. Those are his dogs. But Debo, Sirac, and that dog was the only dog from me. Now he has a lot of beautiful dogs. You guys want to check them out, go check them out or whatever. Um, Big Boss Kennels. Go give him a call. If you like his dogs, give him a call. We got Hot Rots Kennels in the building. Give them a call. They're in Alabama. Um, go give uh, Sean and them guys a call. Sean is here in Louisiana. Um, give them a call. Um, uh, uh, Sean Roberts. Uh, JLC is in... Uh, Texas here as well. There's a lot of kennels out here, man, that's doing their own thing. I'm going to tell each and everybody right now. If you want to buy a dog from anybody out here, go do your research on that kennel. I'm not telling anybody just to go with just, hey, I said it, go buy it. No, I'm telling everybody, I like these kennels. Um, what these guys represent what they're doing. And I don't mind even just giving people a shout out because I want to see people succeed. That's, that doesn't even necessarily mean that I'm telling you that what they're doing is everything they do is believe in because everything I do, they may not believe in. You know what I mean? But I want to see everybody succeed. And why not push people to be 
better and great um, in what you do as well. Um, better hear something close. What the heck is that? I guess you guys hope you guys don't get see, see somebody get shot. I thought I heard somebody. Might be for hood. Let's see. You guys get to see my junkie garage I'm working on. See? All empty. Working on the car right now. Came back. Summit racing, all these parts cost a lot of money. Don't don't judge me. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. This is the Don't judge my garage, you guys. Please don't judge my garage. That's my little setup. You guys saw me sitting at right there. Have you, BBK, and some of the other Texas kennels ever thought about starting a rot network? Nope. I'm not associated with any other kennels. I don't want to do things because everybody got their own way of doing things. And I support people, man. But I'm not about to really get started with people because I know my vision. And my vision is so focused in one direction, man. I just got to stay focused on who I know who I am and what I believe in, honestly. Nothing against anybody else, but my network is my network. I got Butler Kindle's network already on that. Um, we got BBK. Um, you know, they got their network already. But um, I think if everybody brings their own knowledge and stuff, if everybody brings their own knowledge and stuff to their own, then you got what you're looking for. Um, but uh, I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a negative thing. I don't. I just, I just don't think it's a. I just don't think it's the right thing that people should just pit things together simply because they got theirs in mind. I'm. I'm my own entity. I will always tell you that, man. Um, I am my own entity. I am going to always represent. Sorry, you guys. I will always represent myself to the fullest. Because if somebody does something that you don't agree with, then, you know, I'm gonna knock my whole sign down. Got my belt. Bam. I'm gonna quick fix. Ah, there we go. Bam. Um, but I do have a group called B Block. Uh, B Block stands for Brotherly Love of Collective Knowledge. Um, you know, it's a for people that I'm creating. Um, not just because you bought a dog for me, but people of positive mindsets. Don't even have to be a breeder. Don't have to, just a place where people can give um their inputs and you know and share stuff because I don't know it all. I'm not gonna try to tell anybody. I know it all. Man, it's hot. I'll turn this AC on. Oh, I came here to cut the charger on my phone. It's dying. Hold on a second. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't be judging me now. I'm telling you right now. Don't be judging me because I'm trying to get. There we go. Shucks. There we go. Fine. But um, if you guys. Like I said, it's just. Yeah, I just. I, I, I do my own thing. Uh. Koi does not have a kennel, but he has a dog for me, and he's got another dog coming um, as well. Koi is the winner of the name of the discount. He got the $500 discount. Um, I want to do fair because you guys picked the name, and that's the name he had chosen. Um, uh, peace out. Blessings, Chad. I, am, uh, I hope everyone has a good night. Good night, Mike. Uh, be block all day. These guys are definitely the best. Um, life is sweet. The land is goals. If you don't mind sharing how much acres you own, I don't ever say. I don't. Uh, I got. I, I. I. I do all right. I do all right. Does Koi have any other kennel? Have you BBK and some of the other Texas kennels ever thought about starting a can kennel? I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me say something. Um. Uh. There are people. Uh. Like. 
when you're talking about kennel starting and all that kind of stuff, man, and starting a network, um, man, people have so much pride and, you know, and there's so much people that wants to want to be the bigger person that like you gotta like i love kevin hart man kevin hart said the reason why him and the rock work so good together is because he doesn't care about who's the bigger person the name and all that stuff they just want to work together and do great things that's it like just do good things to be great and then you can be awesome man it's not, like it's not a competition and sometimes you've seen people who like he made he did an interview with he did an interview with jay-z and he talked about why is that every group music group you see end up breaking up because then they want to go solo because somebody in the group feel like they're better than everybody else and then the group doesn't do a success or the individual doesn't do a success as the group you know for all the rappers up there the migos and temptations broke up and everybody like all these groups of all different genres genres or whatever um when they go their separate ways, they fail. But as a group, they're collective. But because somebody has a different mindset. And some solo artists are great solo artists. I believe I'm an awesome solo artist. And I dibble dabble with groups. I can do good features. Things like that. I'm a good feature. I can feature, but I'm a solo artist. I don't have a group. I'm, I'm by myself. I created my name by myself. I started this by myself. And I'm going to end this by myself. But I don't mind featuring on other people's kennels to help out if I can. And the same thing vice versa. If that makes sense. I hope that does. If it doesn't, then it's going over your head. Um, waiting list is definitely giving me time to prepare my yard and home for my beer cups. Absolutely. Um, I got Hennessy Von Haas Butler. <laughs> Hello, new subscribe from Fort Worth. I love your dolls. Thank you very much, Patricia. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, uh, David Ruffin Kennels. <laughs> I'm David Ruffin. And these are the kennels, right? That's all you got to do that right there for you guys. But nah, um, but all in all, man, um, you know, I don't mind answering questions with you guys. I love it, man. Um, you know, it's definitely an experience that I love. I love the interactions. Um, but I don't know why, but it's a lot of... I know there's a lot of people who watch my channels, but just watch it for whatever reason. But don't say nothing. Don't comment. There's especially Like, I got a breeder that talks so much stuff about he's seen everything, but won't comment on mine because I guess it looks differently. I don't want the... Be careful of people who can't comment on your page. That's why I'm going to always say that, man. And whenever another breeder can't comment on your page and show love and support, man, they can't because of what they've already said behind your back. And I've known people who came and sat on my couch while they were waiting for their dogs had nothing but negative stuff to say because they were waiting for a dog. But came in and got their dog and apologized like, hey, man, I could have just been like, nah, but I am who I am. And, you know, uh, but... It gets a little bit like crazy. Um, so people are gonna, it's just life, man. Can you name your top five you've ever produced? Um, Von Haas Butler, Von Haas Butler, Von Haas Butler, Von Haas Butler, and Von Haas Butler. Uh, I love you and need a dog for me. Come on, get a dog for me. All you gotta do is put your deposit down and call, give me a call. Another chance at 50% off? No, I can't do that. No, I could do maybe 25% off or something like that. But that's over. I was scared. I gave y'all six dogs. All you do is get eight dogs. And all you do is get four. And I give you one. So I do is get three dogs out of the eight dogs. And that's... Oh, boy. He had six dogs for free. Lord have mercy. Y'all don't think that was... Y'all don't think that was good enough for me tonight? Y'all don't think that scared me? Not just scared me. But it been... I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. My family wouldn't mind. I ain't gonna lie. They're like, what the heck are you doing? I need to get a female from, I need to get my male, I need to get me my male. I got my female in heat right now. Y'all listen, I do offer stud services, but I am not a person that offers stud services on the stick because your dog's in heat, you call me, hey man, because if you got a dog, there's a proper chain and proper things you got. I don't just do people who just call us and say, hey, I got a dog in heat and then bam, come on, get a dog and because I want your money. Nope, 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 nope. 
It's a process to this. If you want to breed your dog and you want to use a study service, give me a call. I am not discussing the whole process on the phone, but if you want to study, but I do not do last minute study services because your dog is in heat right now. I'm going to drop what I'm doing to get your dogs in heat and just breed my dog to your dog. Um, you know, I understand your dog, you know, you didn't know when sometimes, but unless you guys know your dogs are coming in heat, you're trying to breed your dogs and your purpose, give me some heads up. Um, I got a lot of things going on. I just can't stop what I'm doing just to give everybody breedings and all that kind of stuff as well, too. I'm still human. Um, da -da 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 -da. All right. Um, can you show us a picture of Von Haas? <laughs> Von Haas. So the word Von Haas, people was like, I want the Von Haas bloodline. Von Haas only means the house. So when I say... Uh, when I say Beast Von Haas Butler, in English, that's just saying Beast the House of Butler. So there's no such thing as the Von Haas bloodline. Von Haas in German just means the house. That's all that is. It's not it's because somebody else uses Von Haas in their dogs doesn't mean we're related in any kind of way. So it's an educational part of that. I hope that makes sense. Von Haas just means the house, period. So like RK uses... But he got his dogs for me too. But so other people may have Von Haas, Deborah, or Deborah Von Haas, or however people say it. And they they do that to signify their dog ownership of a kennel. So any dog that has Von Haas Butler, like Debo Von Haas Butler, is from me. That's how you know that dog came from me. When you look at his paperwork, it says Debo Von Haas Butler. Now, any dog that Debo produces, um, big BBK or however they name their dogs, that name will be on those dogs. The grandparents are from me and those puppies are from that. So understand genetics and how people work works. And just because somebody got a dog from me and they breed it with somebody else's dog does not mean that it's a Butler Kennels bloodline dog. That dog has a bloodline of Butler Kennels in it, but it's not a Butler Kennels bloodline dog. Like my dogs in my yard that I produce are Butler Kennel dogs or whatever. Um, do you hunt? Yes, I do. Uh, Tony, would you ever purchase a dog from South Africa or Brazil? I'm not, um, 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 no, I don't have a problem buying a dog from any place. I mean, if it's quality dogs and I'm not, I'm just not getting no dogs from anybody in the States. For a lot of reasons, I'll tell you one of the biggest reasons is because people would just love to have my name say, hey, he got a dog for me in the States. And there are lots of beautiful dogs in the States or whatever, but I just have created my own bloodline that I love and I love what I have. There's plenty of great things out there and I love what I see. I'm just not buying it because I've created my own. Um, just because I'm the owner of Burger King don't mean I can't ever eat at McDonald's. I believe in Burger King. But McDonald's has some nice things on their menu you might want to get. Show support, love. But I don't have a I don't have a place where I don't don't want to buy a dog from only. I just don't want to buy a certain dog because I want to be different and my bloodline is different than anybody else here in the United States that I've created. So that's the reason why um, United States is off the question. Question. If I comment on your videos, will that affect the time you work? No, you can comment all you want. You can comment leave questions and all you want it has nothing to do with um and people inbox don't inbox me don't call me don't say oh i was just trying to leave you a message don't text me after hours say oh i was leaving it for you to get if you text me i'm blocking the number i don't care if you've been on my waiting list you just wait till the dog comes i'll give you a dog do not call me text me uh you can email me if you want to you can send me an inbox on my messenger or facebook or instagram or whatever but do not Call me or text me after hours. You will get blocked. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so what are you saying is that you think all your dogs are awesome? Like sometimes parents can't say which kid they love the most. They love all their kids. It's like with that for you, my brother. I love all my dogs. All of my dogs bring something different to the table. Um, I might got one son that's really good at basketball. Uh, one son might be good at skiing. One good might be good at football. They all have their own great talents that every dog, like every dog is different. And I love everything about each dog individually and what they bring to the table for my dog. Because if every one of my dogs brought the same thing, I'm not versatile enough for that. But 
then I won't be versatile. But I am versatile. I have plenty of different options. And that's why people call me and they want different things. They're able to get certain dogs and all that kind of stuff as well. Hope that makes sense to you guys. Thanks for sharing this video, bro. Tell the family that I said hello. Keep repping this beautiful breed. Best of the best. And I'm a big Falcons fan. Everybody tell Corey good night. And thanks for sharing this video as well, man. Um, that's my job, man. Um, Chef Alex, you did not get five out of six. Those dogs are wrong. No one got those dogs' names right. <laughs> Tony, would you ever purchase? I got that question. If I come, I read that already too as well. Can you share us a picture of a uh, uh, new subscriber robert d harris appreciate for subscribing man i really appreciate it welcome robert jump on the waiting list asap <laughs> i appreciate you guys man um i think i did my due diligence tonight man i was come on here and talk for an hour you guys have been in here and showed nothing but love nothing but love so tomorrow i'm giving everybody 50 percent off on all deposits tomorrow so if you normally not any previous deposit but if you're putting on deposit tomorrow and tomorrow only starting from 9 a.m to 7 p.m i don't want to hear it. i'm putting deposit down on wednesday or thursday it's only for tuesday deposits full price is still the same half off on the deposit but you got to pit down to get on the waiting list that's it only tomorrow and tomorrow only i'm doing this for everybody tonight so you watch this thing here and don't call the day is what's the day's date i don't know what day it is um August 29th. So if anybody watching this video months later, August 29th, 2020, the the 50% off is only good for August 30th. August 30th from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'm giving half off to everybody. You work too much, bro. This is your this is your part guy, Rob. Oh, Rob! What's up? Everybody, that's Rob right there. <laughs> The one I was telling you guys about, we talked all day today about the business and everything else. Um, great video. Welcome back. Thank you guys, man. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to get started. I'm glad to show you guys support, man. You guys have been showing your boy support. So I appreciate it. I've already done this thing now for an hour and a oh, ooh, almost two hours, man. You guys have been rocking with your boy. So um, I'm a hot. AC's not on because it's going to be extra hot. And I don't want to do that. And um Oh, look what your boy did. Not one, but two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Bam, my permits. So yes, if you're gonna try to call and try to say, oh yeah, I'm legit, bro. I don't, I don't do nothing half backwards or whatever. Um, Tony, you provide nothing but quality in your dogs and your screams. Much love, big brother. Nothing but love to you, Aaron Collins. I appreciate you, brother. Love you very much. Uh, I'm a little backwards. I need the waiting list a little long. Just got a house and doing yard work. We don't have a time frame on you guys on the waiting list. Take as much time as you need. Just got to get on the waiting list for the time to start. Don't try to... The biggest thing is people try to get a house and then once they say, hey, once I get my house and I settle down, then I'm going to get on the waiting list. Don't do that. You want to get on the... Not even finances or whatever, but you want to get on the waiting list before you even get your house. So that way you can all be pushed down. You just can't be pushed up. Uh, my waiting list is extensive. I'm not going to lie. Depending on what list you're on. I said it that way. You said 2020. Go back and say 2022. Oh. July. August 20. What? I said. Y'all messing me up, man. So the deal is going to be good for August 30th. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. August 30th, 2022. T.I. Appreciate you. So 2022. August 30th, 2022. Deposits are half off for everybody who wants to get a dog from me only. So, um, make sure, uh, yeah, I know tomorrow's gonna be crazy. I shouldn't have did that, but bet talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, um, you guys, man, I'm gonna get back. I got some work to do. Uh, it's hot, I'm tired, and um, I love you guys, man. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be with you guys. I'm glad you guys have stayed up and chat with your boy some of you guys is late at night some guys is still not as late as me but for me it is but it's 10 32 i'm old i'll be going to bed so um you guys man nothing but love nothing but peace and remember to stay positive man i hope what i hope what you learned today and just talking with you guys and interacting with you guys i hope 
we learn something really positive, man, honestly. Even if it's not about dogs, let it be about your life and move forward in what you want to do in life. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. Honest to God, man. Um, believe in yourself, man. Nobody's going to believe in you more than you. If you want to go start a chef business like Chef Alex does, man, he got a nice, beautiful YouTube page as well. Some amazing food, man. Go check him out. Go look at him. Go check him out. Um, and before you say something negative, just take it back in and speak positivity in there, man. And it comes back forth. Um, I'm one of many to do this to this level, um, but I'm the best at it. Believe in yourself, you know. Um, bro, take a break. Oh, I'm taking a break. I just came back from my vacation, man, and I enjoyed it. Um, just came back from out the country. I enjoyed my time, my 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 and you guys listen i went to the country and someone still recognized me it was a good feeling but i wanted to break but i do appreciate it. you guys if you see me out in public man don't point is that him come out man say hey i love you guys i appreciate the support without you guys i won't be where i'm at today so i don't take it for granted i don't get the big head or oh, i'm this this and that um you guys are the reason why breeders and people in business are do successful are because of you guys nobody success is no one is successful without their customers and people's support. Nobody does it on their own, and I sure don't as well. I may do the the dirty work behind the closed doors by myself um, and do that. I want you guys to see something right quick. I want you guys to tell me who the heck this is. Do you guys know Ellen Butler drew this and said this was me? Do you guys know this? Do you, do you, do you guys see those 22s right there? Trying to play me? The, my muscles are bigger than that, bro. Okay, maybe not, but still. Got the full beard on and everything else, man. There you go. So I picked this up here. I'm proud of my little, my little picture. Ah. <laughs> that is not me. <laughs> Tree start from a single seed. You planted a big one in me today, bro. The motivation you exert is crazy dope. Rob, man, I have nothing but love for you, brother. I want to see you succeed. Uh, you guys that want to know about, um, I, I do offer classes um, in um, stocks, classes in real estate, classes in dogs and stuff that's there. Don't, I'm a ma man. I love what I do, man. And the sky's the limit. Don't limit yourself to one thing. Um, if I just did dogs, it'd be one thing. I love cars. I love, man, I do dogs. I do cars. I do houses. I do I do stock. I do it all, man. I love it. So um, I'm not limited to certain things. But you guys, planting that seed is one thing. But you guys watering it every day and nurturing that seed is the biggest thing you guys can do. And that's what motivational speakers do. They give you the seed, they give you the product, but you have to go home and plant that and let it grow because no matter how much motivation I give you guys, the work has to be done. The work is not free. You know what I mean? You have to put that work in and you have to do it. You have to do it. Nobody should have to motivate you more than, than you can motivate yourself. Nobody. I take that Kobe Bryant rest in peace effect, man. Kobe Bryant was the first to get up, you know, last to leave the gym and because of the work he put in that nobody saw was why he was great when he was on the main stage if you're great behind closed doors and you do it all the time when the main stage hit you're comfortable doing it so you can do it you can get on it any and everybody knows the biggest thing after this i'm gonna go everybody knows if you watch my videos and you know about me um i had the worst stuttering problem in my family that anybody's ever heard of um I started so bad that it was horrible. I couldn't speak. It was just, um, you know, it was hard, man. Um, I think that's what made me go a lot to animals and all that kind of stuff as well because I couldn't really speak a lot. And stuttering was something that was really, really heartbreaking to me, man, and couldn't express myself the way I wanted to. So I used dogs and love and that it seemed like animals could always just was patient, you know, rushing. And they just listen. So I was comfortable with that. And, you know, and overcoming those things, man. And, you know, nobody wants to go through life with a with a defect or, you know, abnormalities or whatever. But some of those things build you to be stronger 
to where you are now. And I think that's where I'm at now is like, I don't ever take it for granted. Like my speech, um, one day I was welding and I burned my eyes. Like I flashed my eyes. If people know who, if you weld and you don't use a shield. Cause I was like, I'll be all right. I welded. My eyes were shut and I couldn't see the whole day. And like literally, I just imagine people who couldn't see and the things they go through. So to overcome those things, man, is just like, I mean, you can't overcome blindness. Some people have whatever, but, um, but to endure those things and just, I don't know, man, it's just so much stuff that you endure, you overcome and you can be better at it. It's always something that's out there that, you know, for everybody's got their own battles and hills to climb or whatever, but do those things in your own way, how you want to do it. Um, just stay positive about it, man. Um, and that's what I did with me. Um, with even having a speech impediment that I couldn't speak well. Um, I was afraid to do YouTube. I was afraid to do, I never thought I would do, I wanted to do YouTube since I was a kid, like not a kid, but as I got older and I got nervous about doing it, people kept saying, do it, man, dude. I was like, who want to see my dogs? No one's going to want to see my stuff. Nobody want to do this. I just got dogs and it seems boring. But then people were like, no, I love it, man. I love it. Um, and I was like, this is just my dream though. Nobody cares about my dream, but when I start seeing that what my dream is, is influential to someone else that want to do their own thing, whether it's baking cakes, whether it's picking strawberries, whether it's marriage, whether it's kids, or whether it's anything, go for it. You only get one chance at life, man. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you guys are sitting here watching this tonight, I pray and I hope that you guys take this to heart, that you listen to your dreams and what you really want to do and go for it. Like, don't let other people, don't be, don't be so ashamed of what someone's going to think about you or what someone's going to tell you what you can and cannot do. Don't listen to those people, man. You're going to have the people who are going to be the closest to you tell you that you can't do it. While all along, all they're doing is telling you what they are afraid to do and uh, don't want to see you do that kind of stuff, man. So go out there, be great. Tell yourself every day, yes, I can. Yes, I will. And then do it. All right. So, hope you guys have a good night, man. Love you guys. I appreciate you guys. An hour and 52 minutes. I think that's enough for me. Uh, I'm going to go to bed, take a shower, get these dolls, pretty these kills, kills done one more last time, and then um, start my day again tomorrow because this 50% off, um, I think I just might have messed myself up because I already got all these missed calls. That's Texas I got to do now. And the person that called me during my live, I'm blocking that number. I'm just telling you right now. I used to be funny because... I think I got that call like four or five times. But hope you guys have a good night. Be blessed, man. Love you guys. I'm out. If I know how to hang this button up, boom. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom.